Hi, my name is Alicia Lueras Maldonado, and we are here backstage at Global Kirky, and very excited and honored to have with us um, this year, Joy Harjo, who is going to talk with us for a few minutes. So um, we thank you for, for tuning in. Um, so again, thank you so much for taking the time. You just came off the stage. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and you're taking the time to sit here and talk with us, so I really appreciate it. Um, as I was saying earlier, um, your music has been inspiring, um, not only myself, but many people for, for a very long time. And I wanted to ask, um, how are you able to weave together the different forms of expression that, um, that you do as an artist, um, as a musician, as a, a playwright, a poet, an activist? What um, has worked for you in terms of weaving that together into a career that has now spanned many years? Well, it's been, it's been a long process. I started out, actually what got me into poetry was music. I grew up with my mother writing songs and the kitchen table and a lot of country swing bands coming by our house in Oklahoma. I even got to hear her sing with uh, one of the, you know, one of, with a few of the bands at different points. And, mm -hmm. But I never quite put that together with poetry, I don't think. And I went to University of New Mexico and started writing poetry. I was an art major. Mm -hmm. And then that took over. Mm -hmm. And But the music was always there. And it's always there in the poetry. Poetry mm -hmm. is an oral art. It doesn't matter whether it's written. In, even if it's written down, it's still an oral art. Mm -hmm. But I could always hear music. Mm -hmm. And um, then I started learning to play sax. I was, and wanted start put together Poetic Justice, which started out with me and Susan Williams, the drummer, and then her brother came back, and and then I thought, well, from the stage I would I talk, and and then that's when I got the idea for writing a play, a one-woman show, and now I'm writing a musical, and so it all kind of weaves together, because music, poetry, and dance came into the world together, and if you look at our, in my tribal tradition, it's all there together. They don't you don't separate the poetry and put it in a book. You don't separate, you know, it's all there together. So we just um, received the news, or you just received the news, that you were awarded the Wallace Stevens Award, mm -hmm. which is um, one of the highest honors that you could get from the Academy of American Poets. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean to you, and what does that signify um, to you in terms of being honored in that way? Well, it was quite a surprise to be honored that way. I mean, you work in the way most artists, we work in our room. <laughs> you know, you, you work in the studio, you work, a lot of stuff doesn't work, <laughs> you know, and you know, it's, you don't always know when you do what you do if it's, you don't do it thinking you're going to get recognized. I mean, it's sweet, it's sweet to have an audience. It's sweet to be invited and, and perform and get to, uh, the poetry loves to come out and play, the sax loves to, it gets out there and it does things I don't even know, you know, it takes, it, it, follow, it does its own thing, as it follows the hearts of the people and it goes out and the horn does this because it feels this over here and this and poetry is like that too, but you just don't know. And it was, it's, of course it's very exciting and I think yes, that's another door open, it's a door open for another native poet or a woman, poet, another poet that it's a door open for our, there's a lot of young native poets out there, really wonderful, it just, it's alive, that field of native poetry is probably more alive than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's ever, I think about, you know, but it's there and I've been watching for them for a long time and there they are. Mm -hmm. And so that, I think, okay, the door's open. Mm -hmm. But it is exciting, you know. What an honor. It is, it is an honor. It's a responsibility too. Mm -hmm. So when was, um, so being uh, invited here to Global Kirky, I was trying to think about the last time I had seen you perform in New Mexico. Um, what does it mean to come back to New Mexico and perform at a festival um, like this? Oh, that's really sweet. You know, <laughs> it was, I, I loved it. I, you know, I did do a performance in Santa Fe, Indian Market, and I've come back, but I've been wanting to come to Global Kirky and you know it's I am impressed with the lineup and all of these different kinds of groups from all over. I wish I could just stay here and mm -hmm. 
and listen. Mm -hmm. It's just really, it, I, I don't know if Albuquerque knows how lucky they are to have such a festival. It's really quite impressive. Well, just one last um, thought before we, we wrap up. I wanted to just ask you, um, as you move forward um, in your work and, and thinking about um, the award that you've received and the continuation of, of writing and performing your music and, and weaving together um, that fabric that creates the work that you do, um, where do you continue to go to find inspiration? Well, I find it with the younger people. You know, I find it with, I have children, grandchildren. I got married in April, now I have five more children. <laughs> now I even have great-grandchildren, you know. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, you know, it's ongoing. I find inspiration there in a world that sometimes we don't, you know, it's, it gets pretty, it's been getting pretty disgusting lately, you know, all the racial stuff and the bizarre political stuff, things you never thought you would hear or see in the world. And I was talking with a friend, Juba, earlier, who I saw here, and it's like, you know, it's like we all did all this work, and maybe our aunt, maybe, you know, our grandparents did too. And, and do we know about everything they did? Maybe not. Maybe they've been they've been working on this all this time too. Mm -hmm. Whereas my generation was pretty vocal and noisy about it, but you know, we were wondering, you know, this work has been going on, and it's very discouraging almost to see um, the way things appear to be falling apart. But what I've learned in my life is that. When they appear to be falling apart, sometimes they all fall all the way apart. But you know, it's always in the holes that these flowers spring up, and that we find a way to go. And it's so I have a lot of faith in that. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us and sharing your music and your gifts with us here at Global Kirky. We appreciate it. Thank yes. you.